but time for the restart. Yes, if they can get it right this time, Peter. Kenneth Hansen desperately wants to do well here this weekend after this string of victories from uh, Martin Skanker, and it is Hansen away into the lead. No, it's not. It is uh, Jean-Luc who's got it. Jean-Luc with his Antia. Kenneth in second place. Jörn Bergson up into third. Will Gollop has made a very, very slow start indeed. The British driver going very slowly there with the Peugeot 306 4x4 turbo as Jörn Berg picks up third place ahead of Per Eklund. But it's the two Citroëns getting away. Now, these two cars are not in the same team. They work very closely together, but they are not in the same team. Citroën must know that there's a very strong chance of the championship going to Ford this year and Kenneth Hansen is the guy who should be able to beat uh, Mark Skanker if anybody can and I'm beginning to wonder there Peter if Jean-Luc deliberately allowed Kenneth to come through are they running a bit of a team orders here well, we're not sure about that, but he certainly looks as if he pulled over and waved it past, didn't well, he? Well, it looked a bit like that. Now he's got a rear guard action, of course, you see. He has got Kenneth in front, and if he can keep all the other guys behind him, he's doing exactly the right thing. Now, I'm not saying Jean-Luc is trying to help Kenneth win the championship deliberately there, but it certainly looked as though Citroën really should do this because... Um, Really, they want to retain the championship this year, and that would be for the third consecutive year. And um, the best way of doing it, of course, is to help Kenneth as much as they possibly can. And that's what Jean-Luc appears to be doing there, and Ken going away there is Will. Oh, look at the understeer there on the Will Gollop Peugeot, really understeering wildly around that right-hand corner. Michael Yernberg going very well for a privateer, sitting in behind those two uh, Citroëns. Eklund there with the Impreza in fourth place, but this is the Kenneth Hansen, the reigning European champion, in full flight here on yet another wet day in Scandinavia. And Kenneth it is from Jean-Luc, who has really got to work hard to keep Jernberg at bay. Big, big motor car there for Jean-Luc, back with us after not doing the Norwegian round because of his commitments to the French Championship. And he's still there in second place, and uh, Kenneth getting away. Eklund struggling down there in fourth, but not struggling as much as Will Gollop, who really is quite literally out of the picture. But Kenneth very much in it. Over the brow there, there's Jean-Luc, still with Jernberg, taking a slightly tighter line through that right-hander and over the brow. But Kenneth throws the ZX 4x4 turbo sideways. About 600 plus brake horsepower at his command under that right foot as he accelerates out of this last corner towards the checkered flag. And there is victory for the European champion, Kenneth Anson from Sweden. Jean-Luc second and a good run from the second of the Swedes there, Michael Jernberg into third place.